little bookworm. The little bookworm's favorite treat is eating books sheet by sheet. Little books, big books, fat books, thin books. Books are starter, main course and sweet. Board books are crunchy, munchy and filling. Pull-outs are wholesome, tender and thrilling. Picture books are a tasty treat. Books with sound are scrumptious to eat. Squeak, squeak. Tales of woe make him sad and weepy. And bedtime tales tired and sleepy. Budgie books are for beginner and usually covered in yesterday's dinner. Jigsaw books are good to eat, but then impossible to complete. Cookery books are delicious and yummy, but Papa books upset his tummy. A is for apple, B is for ball, K is for cat, D is for, oops, He's eaten it all. Add, minus, times, divide. Number books are nicely fried. Finding a place for the shape to eat to fit is hard when bookworm has chewed a bit. Coloring books are delicious with paint and crayon quite nutritious. Furry patches stuck with glue make touchy feelings hard to chew. Fairy books that glitter and shine are crunchy, munchy and divine. Puzzle books are rather tricky. Bath books chewy, soapy and sticky. So when you go to bed tonight and say good night to mommy, you just might hear a munchy sound as bookworm fills his tummy. And in the morning there may be left, as you will plainly see, a little pile of paper scraps where this book used to be. Who do you call someone who loves reading books. A bookworm. Do you love reading books? Yes, little bookworms. How do we care about our books? Don't Pick up books with dirty hands. Keep our books in a safe place. Don't eat and drink while reading your books. Who can tell teacher what is the opposite of fat? Thin. Yes, what is the opposite of big, little, small, yes. Excellent. This is our story for today.